everyone, so today I'm doing my Taylor Swift inspired hair and makeup tutorial. And basically what I did was just a very natural eye makeup and face makeup and then a bright pink lip because she always has beautiful bright red or bright pink lips and so um, that is what I chose to do. And then of course I have her signature spiral hair and I think it would look a little bit better if my hair was longer. Um, just because she has long hair so it would look a little bit more like hers. But I think for what um, I had to work with, I think it looks uh, pretty similar. But um, yeah, it was a really easy tutorial and I hope you guys will like it. But if you want to learn how to do it, let's go ahead and get started. So Taylor Swift usually has a really natural eyeshadow and then a dark black winged eyeliner. So to get the natural look, I'm going to go ahead and just take my concealer and apply that to my eyelid. And this is just going to get rid of any veininess that I have in my eyelids or any discoloration. I'm also going to put a little bit underneath. Um, to get rid of kind of dark circles and this is just going to naturally brighten the eye. And then I'm going to take my NYX eyeshadow base in the color white and apply that to my eyelid and I pretty much use this before I put on any eyeshadow just because it makes all of the eyeshadows pop a lot more than uh, without it. Um, if you've never used it you probably wouldn't think it actually makes that much of a difference but um, I can totally tell whenever I don't use it. Um, my the colors, my oh my gosh, my eyeshadow colors are just a lot more dull, and so I'm just going to pat this onto my lid, making sure not to pull or tug on my eye because that causes premature wrinkles, and nobody wants those. Now the first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is this Mac eyeshadow, and it is in the color Jest, and it's just a really pretty kind of a skin toned pearly pink eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. And this is just, it's pretty much the same color as my skin tone, just a little bit more shimmery and pearly. And it just gives a really pretty look to your eyelid. So now I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm using the color Sin right here, which is just a little bit more pinky than the Jest was from MAC. And I'm just going to be using this Urban Decay uh, brush that came with the palette. And so I'm just going to apply that right over the first eyeshadow that I used. And it's just going to make it a little bit darker and a little bit more shimmery. But it, overall, it's not really changing the look too much. But I absolutely love these colors mixed together. I think it gives a really beautiful effect. Now I'm using this Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush eyeshadow in the color Crystal Raw. And the same brush that I've been using, I'm just going to apply this into my inner corner just to kind of brighten that up a little bit and then I'm going to mix that into my lid and then I'm also going to put that just under my eyebrow now for my favorite part Taylor Swift is always rocking the cat eye in the winged eyeliner and it looks absolutely amazing on her so I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate that and I'm just using the L'Oreal Hip um, Color Truth uh, cream liner I guess and this is just in the color black and I'm just using the brush that came with it. I could use one of my own liner brushes, but all of them are dirty. Like, this one's got black all over it, and this one has blue all over it, and I don't know. They're all dirty, and I didn't feel like cleaning them for the video. So I'm just going to use the brush that came with it, and I'm at first I'm going to thinly line my eyes, and then I'm going to wait till the end to actually wing them out. But I can't talk in line, so I'm just going to stop talking and line my eyes. And now I'm going to go ahead and wing it out, and um, I don't really know how to explain how I do this. I just kind of start out here and then swoop it in, and don't be afraid to mess up because I'm going to show you a really simple way to kind of clean up any mess you make, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and just kind of show you how I do it. So I start out here, and I can't talk. I don't know why I keep trying to talk. So I purposely kind of messed it up a little bit just uh, so I could show you how I would fix it if I were to actually mess up. And um, my secret, I guess it's not really a secret, I know a lot of people do this, but I take a um, eyeshadow remover, an eye makeup remover, and just a Q-tip into it. And um, personally, I'm not a big fan of the MAC um, eye makeup remover. But um, I usually, like, because I use the Lancome uh, eye makeup remover, which I did a whole review on. But anyway, um, but for this purpose, I go ahead and get all of the little MAC, like, sample eyeshadow removers. And um, just get a Q-tip about like this and just stick it in there because I think it's, like, the perfect size for that. And then just kind of dab off a little bit of the extras in there. And then I just take it and kind of 
go anywhere that I messed it up. And then I just kind of rub off some of it because it's kind of, it's not oily, but it's just really wet. And then I'll just take the other side and kind of dry that up a little bit. So that's how easy it is to kind of fix it if you mess up. Um, all you need is a Q-tip and some eye makeup remover. And I'm sure an eye makeup remover wipe too would work if you just put your finger in it. Like, uh, put the wipe over your finger and then hold it down and then just kind of do this. I'm sure that would work just fine too. I've never tried it, but I'm sure it would work. And um, so, yeah, if you ever mess up your eyeliner, I guess that's a really easy way to fix that. Normally now I would go ahead and curl my lashes, but I actually lost my eyelash curler. So next time I go to the mall or some someplace, probably just Walmart, I just need to get another eyelash curler. So I'm going to skip straight into putting on mascara, and I'm using the Benefits uh, Their Real Lashes, like always, because it's my favorite mascara now. And I'm just going to apply this to my top lashes and my lower lashes as well. I'm going to keep my blush pretty simple because my lips are going to be super bright if you couldn't tell by the intro to this video. But yeah, they're going to be super bright and I don't want my face to be overpowered so I'm just going to get a very simple kind of a skin toned um, blush and my skin tone blush is Max Margin which I is pretty much my go-to blush and I'm just going to be using a brush like this and apply that to the apples of my cheeks and drag it up towards my temples. Like that. Okay, so you know how I said that the eyeliner was my favorite part? And sorry if you can hear my dogs barking upstairs. I think someone is at the door and they're going absolutely insane. But anyway, you know how I said that the eyeliner was my favorite part? Yeah, I lied. This is actually my favorite part. So Taylor Swift looks absolutely amazing in bright red lipsticks and hot pink lipsticks and I've already done like a bright red lip tutorial and so I decided I was going to go with a hot fuchsia pink and oh my gosh look at this lipstick it is a bright pink this is a max girl about town and I am in love with it, it is the perfect fuchsia pink and so I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. I'm not using a lip liner though, so be really careful because it goes on really easily. So it's kind of easy to get outside of your lips. So if you want to use a lip, uh, lip liner to prevent, uh, I guess, bleeding and spreading of the lipstick, then go ahead. But I'm not going to, so I'm going to carefully apply this to my lips. I'm going to go ahead and add a lip gloss and this is uh, Max Extra Amps and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. And I do definitely think that this amplifies the lips so much. And that is all you do for the makeup so let's go ahead and get started on the hair. Now I haven't done anything to my hair. After I got out of the shower, I just blew dry it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a heat protectant in it. And this is just the Chi 44 Iron Guard. And I'm just going to spray this mainly through the ends of my hair just to make sure um, it doesn't get too damaged. And then I'm just going to take a pick and pick through that. And now to curl it, all I'm doing is using my Conair, uh, my Infinity by Conair, which is just a wand that you can get from um, Walmart. And I really like this. It's got four different heat settings on it, and mine's on the hottest setting just because I find that it gets my hair a little bit better curl. But I have one question about this. If any of you guys have the Infinity by Conair, can you please tell me if yours, like, automatically turns itself off? Because if I am like doing other people's hair and um, it's on for a really long time, it just shuts off. So I was just wondering if anybody else has a problem. But yeah, pretty much I'm just going to go ahead and pick up little bitty pieces because she's always got really tight spiral curls. Well, at least in the picture she does. And I'm just going to start curling away from my face. 
and I'm just going to um, do this all over my entire head and um, I guess I will see you guys after I've done about half of my hair and I'll show you what I do to the other side and I'm also going to leave my bangs for last so I can show you what I do with those but then I'm going to let go and I get a really tight spiral curl like that Now it's time to do my bangs, and so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a comb and grab all of my bangs, and I'm going to go ahead and back comb my bangs, and you can use a teasing comb if you want to, but I'm just using a comb, and I'm just going to keep it like this. Actually, no. I'm just going to go ahead and comb that through, and um, the point of that was just to kind of give it a little bit more volume than it would without um, teasing it, and then I'm just going to take all of my bangs together, and I'm going to grab my curling wand and I'm going to let it um, set it on top of my bangs like this and then wrap my bangs around like that. And this is going to help my bangs go back and kind of twist into my hair and I'm going to hold it on there for a little while or else it won't stay. So then I'll let it go and it should do that. And then I'm just going to take it and kind of twist that in to my other hair so that just kind of creates her twist. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a paddle brush like this and just lightly comb through all the hair to soften up these curls a little bit. And then through this side. Just to soften those up. And then I'm going to take uh, my bed head um, after party, uh, just a cream, and just to size this big. You don't need a whole lot. And then I'm just going to rub this into the ends of my hair just to kind of give it a little bit more shine and make it appear a little bit softer. And then last but not least, hairspray. So go ahead and hairspray it and I'm using the Scrupples High Definition uh, Shaping Spray. And I'm just going to spray that. And that is how you do the hair and makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, please comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys later. Bye.